Hello and welcome to Unstitches. A customer of mine got hold of me the other day to say there was an auction in a town close by with a lot of sewing machines in it. As you can see here, I popped along uh, with my camera and uh, took some video. thought I'd uh, show you what machines were there and I actually ended up buying some of these machines in the auction the next day. Yeah, so keep an eye out at the end of the video I show what I bought. Let's take a close look at each of these machines here. Here we have an Eldridge Super Sew in a cabinet uh, electric machine made in the USA. And here we have a Pearson and Binion Limited sail making machine. It's actually a uh, like a treadle, more like a pedal type uh, operation machine. I'll show you that closer later on. Made in Leeds. This is a treadle federation machine. Very nice design on that and over to you can see some uh, pulleys in the background there this is a toy machine here so kitty is it I can't quite read that one uh, be salt and lock it's a boat type uh, shuttle be salt and lock miss in Germany and over here to a Columbus, it looks like a 201K uh, replica. Wheeler and Wilson. Treadle, not in a treadle cabinet though. Uh, some accessories there, Singer accessories and a nice case there. Another little toy machine. Blue die, is it? Uh, this was interesting, seam maker, a chain stitch machine for repairing um, jerseys or joining, yeah, sewing knitted garments, <clears throat> hand operated. Manufactured in Great Britain, some more accessories here. And a little baby lock, uh, two thread chain stitch overlocker there. And we've got a FAF 103 treadle, it's quite a nice machine. Very tidy condition. These machines came from a collection uh, lady who I think is around about 90 now and her um, she decided to uh, pass on her collection and uh, put it up for auction. There we go, 221K featherweight. Beautiful little machine, it's centenary version. Yep, pretty good condition. Got the little zigzag attachment with it there. Half size portable. Made in Clydebank. Scotland. Okay, we've got a little another toy, Universal. A couple of little ornaments there. And a jasmine. Nice orange jasmine. Hand cranker. A few more bits and pieces off a uh, stand there. Oil bottles, those oil bottles go for a reasonable price. I was quite surprised about that. Uh, now that's a 201k. Yeah. Uh, we've got, oh, what is that? Peerless, made in the USA, I think that one. White Peerless 1890, hand operated. These are nice uh, Vickers in a cabinet here. It's electric, or Vickers, uh, sold and supplied in Belenum. That's another town reasonably close, about an hour and a half drive from here. British made, Vickers, and there's another Vickers there, and a uh, little case there. Liberty, looks like a 201k replica, isn't it? Uh, Bernina, now the model number escapes me on that one. Norman. Norman, is it? Norman. Oh yes, this one's interesting. It's got some history to it, that one. We'll go through later on. Uh, that's the Frister and Rossman. A little, uh, that's the back panel missing a screw there. Some of the cases don't have the lids for them. Uh, some, yeah, that's a singer, isn't it? 
another uh, pulley there, a couple of pulleys. Uh, now that machine there is for repairing uh, pantyhose, as far as I know. Yeah, I think I get a shot of the manual there. Yeah, hosiery repair machine. New home. Anchor. I hadn't heard of that one actually. That that's a bit of a laugh actually. <laughs> we sometimes uh, joke about machines being boat anchors. <laughs> uh, that's a Singer. That's a industrial head. One one four dash fifty one. Looks like centenary uh, model. That's a button sewing machine. So just for sewing buttons onto shirts and blouses, etc. Domestic there. Not sure what that little hand cranker is there. Uh, yep, so we've got a couple of little uh, toy machines there. I think they're called Peter Pans, are they? I'm not too familiar with these little the toys. Uh, all the antiques, to be quite honest, I'm really sort of learning a little bit about them now. 99k, is it? Wertheim little hand cranker. Uh, some just uh, foot controllers and bits and pieces in the box there and a few uh, spare lids. Now they didn't seem to match up with any of the machines that were there. Uh, th three, 306k. So another Frister and Rossman. And we've got some uh, toy machines here. Vulcan, made in England. Child sewing machine. I like this, a little faff tipmatic. It's got the box with it. Freedor, is it? Freidor? Not sure exactly how to pronounce that one. Stitchmaster, rotary hook. More pulleys there. Another domestic rotary. What a nice example there. 1927 electric, made in the USA. Nice little 99k there, centenary version, in pretty good condition. Hexagon, that's an interesting looking machine, I like the look of that one. Another little uh, toy there, Burnett. There's a Jones Industrial boot closing machine. And another one of the Vitos, is it? The, um, hosiery repair machines. Just checking to see if it was not seized. There we go, some irons there for you iron fan people. And that is a antique floral, yeah it doesn't say. Okay, Singer 99k, pretty good condition there, nice. Another little toy. New home, another new home. No cabinet. Elgin. Little hand cranker there. Made in the USA. By the look of that. The carry case. The fair lady. Another, looks like a 201k replica. The oil can. Dirkop. Dirkop Adler, is it? And we've got another, uh, what's that? Frister and Rossman, yeah, Frister and Rossman. Mm, not sure on the year there, are they? 1901 to 19, 1914 hand cranker. Another 99K there. Pretty good nick. Wertheim, another Wertheim. Made in Germany. 1890, circa 1890. Quite a nice design there, planet. And we've got the, what is that one? Come back to that. It's this one here, original Victoria. Vibrating cylinder type, shuttle. More bits and pieces here. Those two drawers don't come from the other cabinet that we saw, the drawers missing, I don't think. 
some more accessories there. Pretty neat. Another 99k centenary. Here we have the uh, Sphinx, is it? Singer. Yep. Nice. I did pick that one up. I got that one. Uh, along with the, quite a few other machines, actually, you'll see later. Yep. I've been looking for one of those, actually. And um, that'll uh, make a nice addition to the collection. Oh, I really like this. The Taylor Bird. I, I missed out on this one, actually. Uh, really neat design. That machine uh, actually folds down into that case there. Made in England. The two side panels that you can see on the top fold down and it folds down into its case. Very nice design. Little banana toy there. Brook Laboratories, Nelson, New Zealand. So that's uh, the town where this auction is, very close to where I live. They must have manufactured those in Nelson, which is interesting. New White Peerless hand cranker. Dual Toy, 1950 chain stitch. Made in Germany. And we've got another Jones here. It's quite a nice machine. Very nice design on it. K Siege, that's the one we saw from the other angle just before. Made in Germany. Chain stitch, chain driven. Ah, oh, yep. Another 221K featherweight. Centenary version. Again, this one is in pretty good condition as well. the zigzagger. Robertson reversible. That was a nice machine. I like that one. I didn't pick this one up. Uh, yeah that's a very nice colour and had the case and everything. It's complete. Another Jones there and we've got Singer accessories, more irons, pretty old school irons there and a new national 1890, circa 1890. Little Holly Hobby toy machine there, 1960 chain stitch. Manufactured in Hong Kong for Durham Industries of New York. And we've got another, is that a, can't quite read that, Jones, is it? Is that a Wertheim, is it? Yeah. Manufactured in Frankfurt, Germany. Triumph model, 1899. Hand cranker. Serial number there. With its cabinet. Oh, grease button holder. I've done a video on that. And this little uh, treadle crescent special here. Vibrating shuttle type. Manufactured by National Sewing Machine Company, Belvedere, Illinois. Here's the uh, haul from the auction. Uh, that's a button holding, that's the button sewing machine, just a head only. And we've got a 306K there. Uh, singer there. Just picked them up today. New home. Wertheim there. That's the Aldridge there. Electric. Sorry, sun's pretty bright today. I'll try and get a better shot there for you. And another singer there. And that's the Pearson & Co. Uh, sail making machine. Well, that's just the table for it. Decent uh, flywheel there. And uh, if we have a look in the back of the car here, we've got the Jones there. Basalt and lock there. Uh, not sure what that one there is. I've got a couple of, oh, I've got a Singer 201K, uh, 99K there. And that is the new National. Nice little machine. Another Singer, that's a 99k, that's in pretty good 
condition. Uh, that one, yeah, I can't quite remember what one that was. I've got them all listed. Uh, domestic there under the lid. I'm not sure what that one is. That's the hexagon machine. Pretty cool. And there's the Pearson and Binion 1913. Just the head there. And that goes onto this table here. So uh, looking forward to setting that up. A couple of case lids there and a couple of the toy, a few toy machines there. Yeah, so um, that's about it. So I'll get these unpacked and uh, set up. So yeah, keep an eye out for more videos. I've got plenty of uh, content coming up by the look of this. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thanks very much for watching. And as always, thank you very much to my patrons on Patreon.